I'm glad you're listening. Lucky you, because I have a special guest in studio, and it's uh, one of Nashville's very best songwriters ever. Rodney Crowell is with me. Welcome, Rodney. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Good to have you here. Rodney has a new CD coming soon called Sex and Gasoline. It'll be in stores on September 2nd, they tell me. And he's going to be playing a couple of gigs here in Nashville as well. So we're going to talk about all of that. But Rodney brought a guitar, so let's uh, let's hear a song. What would you like to play for me today? Mm, well, perhaps I'll commence this exercise with... Uh, it's called The Rise and Fall of Intelligent Design. If I could have just one wish Maybe for an hour I want to be a woman And feel that phantom power Maybe I'd want to stick around for a while Until my heart got broke Maybe then I could find out if I'm a half-decent man or if I'm just a joke If I could be the first woman president I'd take on air pollution I'd walk the streets of Baghdad at dawn To find a real solution I'd bear my soul for the people to read I'd make my secrets known And I'd probably be assassinated first day in office Or die somewhere alone It's no excuse to be obtuse It's no excuse to be deaf, dumb and blind When evolution is a thing of no use it likes to call itself intelligent design So here's the world in the palm of my hand How come I'm feeling so tender? It's a man's world I've heard it since birth I'm out of touch with my gender I want to feed the hungry, I want to heal the sick I want to stifle the causes of suffering and hate I want to know my enemy by the look in his eyes I want to stop all this madness before it's too late I don't care if you think I've gone crazy Messianic delusion is a back-breaking grind I've got a dog and a goldfish and a friend in the Navy don't know nothing about intelligent design It's no excuse to be brutal It's no excuse to be vile It's no excuse to want to die for religion Or harm an innocent child It's no excuse to be a slick politician when the whole of New Orleans is drowning in brine I'm not mistaken, it was Darwin's position That the hole in the levee was caused by intelligent design Thank you, Rodney. That was great. Rodney Crowell live in the studio here on Lightning 100, The Rise and Fall of Intelligent Design, a new song that's on the CD coming in September called Sex and Gasoline. Rodney, of course, is a Grammy Award winner, and in the Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame, he is definitely one of our best songwriters and a great artist. Rodney, the, uh, this album, I guess uh, that song is a perfect example of perhaps a theme to this one, that it's uh, a collection of songs about... Uh, uh, about women and uh, from the point of view of an a, wom of wo a woman, as you would imagine it, I suppose, right? Sometimes I take the liberty of imagining <laughs> what it might be like to be a woman. Of course, 
my women friends will stare at me and say, how would I presume? <laughs> but, you know, it's a good place to start. It, 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 it spurred my imagination to, to write some songs. And I don't know, as I, I observed uh, someone really close to me uh, kind of hurting herself to uh, fit in as a woman in this modern age, it set me to thinking about, you know, what it's, what it's like, you know? Shoot, I mean, unfortunately for women in our culture, you know, sometimes it, you know, by the time they reach their mid forties, they're traded in on a newer model. It's, God, I would, I wouldn't want to live with that over my head. Well, um, that's a, it's an interesting uh, concept for this album, and you know, you started uh, a cycle of uh, albums uh, back in two thousand one that includes uh, the Houston Kid. And then Fate's Right Hand came in 2003, and The Outsider in 2005. A lot of people, and I would agree, say that this is some of your best work ever. Ever um, Is this album in any way kin to those, would you say? Kin, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a uh, continuation of a, a uh, mindset that I've been in for a while. But this, this record is different. I actually went out to California, and I produced my own records for longer than I probably should have. And I went, Joe Henry, a, a producer from California, well, North Carolina, a Detroit, a transplanted North Carolinian who grew up in Detroit, who now lives in Pasadena, California, is a producer. Lovely guy, very creative and uh, supportive. And I just went out to his place, to his studio, and said, you know, let's do this really quick. This, this is the first album I've performed top to bottom completely live. Or CD, I should say. That's how old school I am. Um, and that was a goal for me. And I, I couldn't have done it producing it myself because too many jobs. I, on this record, I only had two jobs, one job. And that was to be the artist. Is this the first time then that you have ever worked with an outside producer? The first time in, since 1978 I wasn't either producing or co-producing. Wow. Well, you know, which... That tells you, take, I, I'm a slow learner, <laughs> you know? 